Hey guys, welcome back to Hearthstone. So, uh, we are finally done with all of those tavern brawls from last week, and we are going to be jumping back into standard mode. Uh, I want to play my mage deck, because I have not had a chance to try her out basically since uh, the last expansion, and so I'm just curious to see how this deck will play in the new meta. See, spoilers, I'm guessing not super well, but maybe we can pull a win in, it would be nice. <laughs> um, I don't know, I really like mages a lot, it's probably my favorite class in the game, just because... It's a lot like uh, black and blue decks, if you played Magic, where it's a lot of like countering and control and kill type stuff, which I, I thoroughly enjoy. Although, this deck definitely suffers one problem, which is um, not a lot of creatures, which I may want to consider putting some additional creatures in here, because like this, I don't know how well this is going to cut it. <clears throat> we'll see, though. We're playing against a priest here, so we're going to want to take our time in killing him because he's probably got some pretty big heals up his sleeve. Um, let's, let's be polite. I've been <laughs> kind of a grump the last couple games, so <laughs> let's see if we can make a friend. Oh, good, a C'Thun deck. Well, this should be interesting. I'm, one thing's for sure. If I pull a sheep, I'm going to be holding on to it for a little while. Let's uh, drop a mana worm into arcane missiles here. Hmm. Well, um, that's kind of a bummer. Oh well, not much we can do. At least we got a 2-3. Could be worse. But, uh, this thing living is really annoying, because if he can buff it or anything, he'll be able to kill our mana worm before we can make it much bigger. If not, we might be able to pull something pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so we're going to Frostbolt it next turn, I guess, because he's being annoying about it. Which is kind of a waste of cards, but what are you going to do? Uh, deals one damage to all enemy minions. This is the one card I added from the new set, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, so let's just Frostbolt this thing, because screw it, and then we can deal some pretty good damage to him. And, uh, we'll just get the ball rolling here. So ideally, with the mage deck, as much as possible, you want to keep their side of the board almost entirely clear, unless you're powering up for a flame strike. Uh, so every time he plays a creature, I'm going to be trying to counter it somehow. Um, I'd really like that uh, two mana creature that buffs my hero power now. Uh, let's see, what's the best way to do this? Or the arcane missiles, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and ping this dumb 4 2 so that he is not invincible next turn. And uh, we'll just go ahead and attack his face here and let him. He can attack my worm. My worm is more valuable than his Cthulhu's chosen, honestly, without the shield. So he'll probably make this trade. Oh, or he's got a Shadow Word Pain. <coughs> How annoying. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna be needing this flame strike, so we're gonna hold. We're gonna probably play this turn six. Um, in the meantime, though, let's just try and slow him down a bit. I think. Uh, I think we just drop a water elemental, and then if he doesn't kill it next turn, we can give it plus one plus one and taunt, which is really good for slowing people down. Hopefully, he doesn't have another shadow word pain. Something tells me he has another shadow word pain, but he, yeah, he's like, oh, I do have another shadow word pain, but I'm not gonna waste it, right? <laughs> no, okay, it's a Sun Fury Protector, I see. Oh, so he's got taunt for days too. Great. Um, I think jeez. That flame strike, we can drop it next turn and it'll wipe little clear his board. That's fine. Huh. That was an interesting choice there. I don't think I would have uh, done the same. Okay. Um We are continuing our advantage. Uh, we do have a slight card and board advantage, but he has a one health advantage on us, so we don't want to get too cocky since he can heal so easily. Um, another 4-2, how annoying. Uh, we could sheep it, but I really want to hold on to the sheep for C'Thun. Hmm. What to do, what to do. We could sheep this and kill this. But then we're down an awful lot. We could ping this, but we have no spells to deal small amounts of damage anymore. We could give this, we could ping it, and then we could give this taunt, and then he wouldn't be able to kill it, and then he would have to trade this. I think that's the smartest move. Let's ping this, and go ahead and play this guy. And then we will kill off... Oh, but if he makes that trade, he'll buff this guy. Do I? Hmm. If he 
So if he kills, if this guy dies, it'll buff this guy to a 5-3. But that will still die. So let's just do that. I'm fine with that. He can have a 5-3, because unless he can ping for one, now we're out of both Shadow Word, um, Pain, and Death range with this 4. Because it's uh, 5 or more damage, they can Shadow Word Death it. Uh, 3 or less, they can Shadow Word Pain it, and just remove it straight from play, which is pretty frustrating. Yeah, see, he's not... I'm thinking he's, like, starting to run out of steam here. I bet these are a lot of buff cards he doesn't want to blow on this guy. Maybe not, though. Maybe he's just holding onto a Cthoon. All right, see, we got our trade. We got pretty darn good efficiency out of our Water Elemental. He took out three dudes there. Okay, so now it's time to drop a Maiden of the Lake, or do I want to drop two Maidens of the Lake? That'd be pretty funny. Double my hero power costs one. Because I'm an idiot and don't value my <laughs> cards nearly enough. At least we got some good defensive posturing here. And <clears throat> honestly, uh, priests, as far as I know, don't have an amazing capacity for... Uh, what's this do? It gives it plus... Restore 10 health to your hero. Oh, wow. Man, priests. This is what I was talking about with the bounce back. You can't get overconfident. We're not... Like, this is rough because usually my deck finishes people off with a couple spells. But we can't rely on that here because he's got such a potential to... Uh, he has such huge potential. Uh, I think we want to hold on to Effigy until C'Thun drops so that we can summon something re uh, really cool. Sorry, not Entity, Effigy, rather. Um, for now, two, two. do we want to just Fireball this thing? I th or we could tr 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 trade both this, one of these, and then ping it um, for one. Or we could... Here we go. So we're going to do um, this this, and then drop this guy for three, play water elemental as well, and then we'll ping him for one, and hit him for two. Just gotta keep, uh, keep trying to keep the board presence as much as possible, because the other, uh, uh, opportunity with a priest is theoretically, if he doesn't pull a C'Thun and clear our entire board and then one-shot us, um, we can, uh, get a bit of a turnaround here, but I have a bad feeling that C'Thun is coming very soon. See, now this guy is not so good here. Can we get lucky? Oh, of course he gets lucky and gets my <laughs> one creature that's actually fairly affected by it. See, now he's doing something here I would not do, though. He's playing creatures he really doesn't need, uh, which is probably going to cost him, because I'm going to go like this. I can take out his knife juggler here really efficiently, then I can do this, not lose mine, ping this guy off without losing anything again. Um, I've got a mirror image here. Do I want to hold on to my mirror image? I doubt he has anything with haste in this deck, so I think I will. Um, and really, I want to hold on to all of this. Uh, I think... Oh, whenever a friendly minion dies, summon something at the same mana cost. Well, I think we can drop our effigy then safely, because it's not like I'm going to make any other use of it. I mean, these cards are good enough to be duplicated. I don't really have any ringer creatures in here, which is probably something I could use. This is one of the downsides to not having any legendaries, especially in a mage deck, where it's like... There are some amazing mage legendary cards like Antonitis and stuff like that. All right, cool. So now we got here, uh, we got Fallen Hero, so we can deal more damage with our one mana hero power. Not that we're exactly hurting for mana. Uh, sorry for the street traffic. I'm gonna mute for one sec. The light protects me. The downsides of living two blocks from a hospital. And two blocks also from a fire station. <laughs> and right near a camp, uh, college campus that has a police force on it. Man, there are a lot of potential sirens around me, but what are you going to do? All right, so he's got his 1-1 one, one here. Um, what's the best way to ping it, honestly? This is, gonna, this is the best way to ping it, but it's kind of a waste. Uh, so he's got a 1-1. One, one. We'll go ahead and kill off his stupid 1-1 one, one here. And then I'm going to buff these two, even though I've already dealt some damage to my Water Elemental, just because its ability is really good. We'll still freeze anyone who comes in contact with us. And then we're just going to hit him for another 6. I think we may have this game unless he pulls C'Thun. That If he pulls C'Thun, I mean, he's not going to win if he pulls C'Thun, because we have a, we have a uh, Polymorph ready, and then we can just use our hero ability to wipe it, but, ah, yes! Beautiful! Our first mage deck victory! Here I am overanalyzing things, and <laughs> we just annoyed him to death, basically. <clears throat> Fantastic. Awesome. Well, that is our first game of the day, and uh, we will continue in just a moment here. Alright, let's jump right back in and try and get another win if we can here. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, one of our missions is to get seven victories with anyone, and I think we already have 
five or six of them now, so and that's going to be 100 gold, which would be fantastic. Maybe we can start our uh, arena series sooner than originally anticipated. Maybe next episode will be arena-themed. Who knows? Be warned, I am not amazing at arena. <laughs> But uh, maybe I'll do better there, because I feel like one of the biggest things that I deal with day to day, I mean, besides the terrible misplays that I have no excuse for, is uh, my the, the kind of cards that are missing, sort of, from my collection. So hopefully uh, Arena will give us a little bit more of a fair playing field. Not an amazing starting hand, not a terrible one. Hello. Hunters are can be problematic against this deck because they have such a flood of creatures, but if we are careful about using our control, we should be okay. I may have to waste this effigy, though, if we don't get some more lower mana creatures here. Cute. Well, at least I don't have to waste this guy turn two. I can just... <laughs> I can't let you do that, Star Fox. I never would let a uh, beast just have a creature like that. Oh, one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Just had a quick emergency phone call, but we are all good and we are back. So, let's, um... This is a weird turn three, because I don't have anything super amazing. Let's just draw some cards, I think. Because he doesn't have a board presence, and I'm not in a huge rush to get one. Though, it's worth noting that uh, hunters are really good at dropping creatures with charge. So, if he pulls, like, some crazy charge stuff, he could deal a lot of damage to us all at once. Um, I think for now, though, this makes me nervous. I wonder if he has as much control as I do. I think, um, let's... Do I want to... Let's do an Acolyte of Pain and also a um, Mirror Image here. Because we got some defense now, and I can start... If I don't have anything great to play, we can start pinging our own Acolyte of Pain. I love this card as a mage. So you can just deal damage to your own minion, and every time he takes damage, you draw a card, and your your ping does one damage. So it just it's nice. It's really cool. Um, maybe next turn we'll play Maiden of the Lake so we can do it even more efficiently, and we can like ping and then also do stuff. Hmm, I'm thinking Explosive Trap. So, because I'm almost positive that's an Explosive Trap... Okay, one of those is definitely an Explosive Trap. So what we're going to want to do is ping this guy first, then attack, and then it'll clear our board probably, but we will be able to draw two cards next turn. Perhaps not. Perhaps we won't have to spend any mana. Cool, so I get to draw a card now, which that was not very smart of him. Um, and then now we're going to go ahead and trigger his definitely explosive trap. Ready? And explosive trap. Saw that coming. So I got to clear it super efficiently, and I get to draw another card. Um, <clears throat> I knew I was going to lose those mirror images through that, but what are you going to do? And now I think the best play would be probably... I want to see what exactly is the text on this. When you when your hero is attacked, attacked. So I can't cast a spell on him to trigger another one. So I think what we do for now is just lay down... A Maiden of the Lake, because she has a lot of toughness and it's not easy to kill her. And then we can also ping him because he is, uh, now we have a reduced hero power. I really like the hero power buffs, in case you can't tell. Uh, that and, like, I really actually enjoyed the Grand Tournament expansion, just because, I don't know, I feel like Inspire and, like, hero power centric abilities are one of uh, Hearthstone's biggest strengths over other TCGs. And uh, they, I felt like they really played with that well. Um, okay, so he's got a 5-4 taunt. I've got a 2-6 so I can make a taunt. And I think that's what I want to do. I think I want to just... Boom. Boom. And, uh, now i got a 3-7 taunt. And I can't kill him yet. Although, I'm going to do this because I want him to attack me back and lose his guy. And I think he will, actually. Because, uh, this guy doesn't seem like he wants me to have a lot of board presence here. He seems like kind of a face hunter. Oh, he, maybe he won't. Okay, deal three damage. That's fine. We can just ping this guy to death. Ooh, that is a good card. We got to see a little bit of that uh, during our arena games. And good God, do I love that thing. Although I prefer the gem spider that I think is like a two mana 1-1 one, one with the same battle cry. Actually, wait. 
I think ours was discover a three mana beast. It was, a, and it was a three mana creature. So there must be, I think there's a couple of varieties of this guy. So I get confused sometimes, but uh, I like the new discover ability overall. It seems neat. So I think we arcane missiles next turn. See what kind of luck we can get. We don't get any benefits from holding off on casting, do we? Um, what would we be doing after that? Well, it depends on what we get. Ah, shoot. I was really hoping all of them would hit him. That's okay. So, and then he's got his stupid thing. Do we want to even frostbolt it, or do we want to just... Uh, we could also just trade this and then ping it. Um, and that's also a one-for-one -one trade, and then we could hold on to our frostbolt for when we need it. So let's do that. Um... And then we have four mana left over to play with. This will buff our hero power again, but we become susceptible to another explosive trap. But he does not appear to have... Oh! Bear trap. Okay. 3-3 three, three bear with taunt. That's not bad. So now we actually have our frost bolt and we can use it. Um, and we will. And then I can lay another fallen hero because we're clear on traps. However, we're going to have to keep in mind he appears to have two types of traps. Explosive trap and bear trap. He likely has a playset of both. Explosive trap he almost certainly does because all hunters get those. I'm not sure about bear trap. I'm pretty sure that that is not uh, just a normal hunter card. Oh, this is a Cthune deck? Wow, he's got a really weird Cthune deck going on right now. Whatever. It would have been nice if we could have killed this guy, though, for two mana. Um... Okay, uh, summon two one-one spiders. We could polymorph that, but this is a Cthune deck now, so I almost feel like I should hold on to my polymorph. Do we want to just draw? Yeah, okay, so let's drop a mana worm, and then we'll draw two cards and see if we can get anything decent. Mirror image is actually really good here. That'll stave him off for a turn, which means we don't have to target one of these guys directly. And then I'd also like to drop an Acolyte of Pain so we can start drawing some more cards. Although... Acolyte of Pain is actually slightly worse to us right now. It almost makes me want to make that trade, but I'm not going to. Um, just because the Acolyte of Pain has three health, you draw a card every time he takes damage, regardless of the amount of damage he takes. So if he gets hit for three, you draw one card. But if he gets hit for one three times, you draw three cards. So ideally, we'd like this to be back down to one damage before we start pinging our own guy. Oh, Fossilized Devil Sword. I've not seen this guy. That's cool. Control a beast game taunt. Although, 8 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight, I don't know about that. Actually, I don't know how good a card that is. It's good in this situation, though. I'll give him that. Or it would be if I didn't have a polymorph. Uh, and we will just go ahead and... Let's see. I think we want to... Should we just trade this guy in and then ping? We could just kill this thing off outright. No. I think we want to... It'd be better to... Pinging for two is, is... How valuable is it, honestly? It's pretty valuable, but not incredibly valuable. I think what we should do is this. Make that trade. Now we have the ability to do this. And... I can draw a card. Then we will ping this guy with this, so we don't have to lose any unnecessary life. We'll throw down an effigy to buff our mana worm. So it's a 5-3 now. And then we can hit him in the face for five. And now we have a life advantage, and a card advantage, and a board advantage. Just gotta hope he doesn't have any, uh, explosive shots or anything, or multi-shots or anything like that, because he could just clear our board. <clears throat> Bad luck? Ah, snap. That's pretty good luck. You know, he can, he's gonna make this trade, I'm sure. What is he doing? Oh, god. I mean, he's just letting me draw all the cards. And now I, uh, I get a random three mana creature, what I get? I've seen worse. 3-3. Three, three. Could be. Could be a lot worse. Is he going to be an idiot and forget this can attack? That'd be hilarious. He is. I think he's forgotten it. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> yes, and he made the smart move and took out my mana worm before it grew any bigger. Uh, okay, so he's got a 2-4 in play. I think we frost bolt it and then fire blast it, and that'll be 4 mana, and we'll have 6 left, and we can worm elemental. Okay, so let's worm then Frostbolt, then Ability, Hero Power, then... Oh, shoot, I could have played this Drake, actually, earlier, and I should have. Well, now I feel dumb. I'm embarrassed. I'm going to just play this so we have a little bit more defensive presence. If I can get another one of my... Um... Oh, what are they called? The... Uh... It's not Sun for your Protector. Uh, Defender of uh, Argus or something? The, the guy who gives plus one, plus one to adjacent minions and taunt. Uh, I'd like to get him, because he's so good with Water Elemental. I just, I love that combo. 
Um, so he's got an 8-8. Eight, eight. We can hit for 7. Hmm. But we wouldn't be able to all at once. So we could do 6, 7. We could do 6 and 3. We're just going to have to do a bad trade here, I think. <clears throat> and I think the smart way to do it is going to be boom. And boom. And then we'll kill this. And then... Am I going to play another spell here? No. Oh, I should have used... Well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think then we're going to drop an Azure Drake. So we can draw a card. Yes, another Polymorph in case he gets his C'Thun. And this game is pretty much ours, I think, you guys. Unless he pulls some ridiculous combo or drops C'Thun, like, right now, I think we're going to be okay. Because next turn, it's our game. We could just fireball him for six and then hit him for four. Oh, there's C'Thun. Come on, leave my Drake alive. Leave my Drake alive. Yes! Okay, that's GG. We win. Seven, and then seven. I'm going to sheep it first, though. No. Yes, I will. Screw your C'Thun. Screw your C'Thun. Screw your C'Thun. Boom, boom. I'm being that bully that I was just complaining about last week. That's okay, because we destroyed that dude. Good job, team. And by that, I mean good job, self. Ah, fantastic. And we got our gold. And we are now going to be able to do Arena next time. And I had a blast. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you guys liked what you saw, please be sure to like, subscribe, share it with any friends who you think might be into Hearthstone or might want to check out the game. And uh, as always, thanks a ton for watching. I will see you guys next time.